guys welcome back to my channel and today we are going to talk about the importance of branding Etsy is a search engine when customers search for that specific item in the search bar they usually look in through the first page and second page and see what they interest them so when they click your listing they don't necessarily go to your shop page they only are interested into that specific listing but when they do click into your shop you have to make sure that your whole shop aesthetic will speak about your branding now that you have niched down but if you haven't you can go to my previous video regarding on how to niche down it will help you narrow down the options so that you know who your target customer is. I'll link the description down below for it's easier for you. Okay, going back, now that you have a clear idea of who your target customer is, we are going to talk about your branding. Branding is more than just having a logo. It will be the connection that you have with your clients. You have to identify the emotional connection between your shop and your clients. In this way, you will be able to differentiate yourself from other shops. By focusing into your brand, you will be able to portray the message of your vision and your values and you will be leaving that message to them. You can start talking about your brand colors. Like different colors portrays different message. Like for example, color blue portrays trust, loyalty, and competence. While, while the pink means sweet, and sophisticated so you have to do your own research for all the meanings of the colors that your brand will portray so you have to choose the right colors that best describes your brand for example color red what kind of company do you remember when you think about the color red me I remember Rogers and if you talk about color orange what do you remember? I remember tangerine. So it's basically the main thing that we are going to do with your shop. Like when they think about this color, they would remember your shop. But in this video, I am also going to teach you on how to make a logo, banner, and how to fix your policy when you're doing your, or you're starting an Etsy shop. Here we are at canva.com my very very favorite website to for my marketing stuff so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a, a logo right so i can't find any logo words anywhere so i'm just gonna type in logo here and we're just gonna look for logo And there's going to be a lot of different templates that you will see here. And you can just basically just choose anything that you would want to get to have like your brand message out there, right? So there's quite a few that are really good. But I'm actually just for the sake of this video, I'm just going to choose one. And I am probably going to choose this one. So this one is Pink Retro Boho Beauty Blogger. <laughs> and I'm going to just change that to my Minecraft Angel. Well, I'm going to delete that one at the back because I don't really need that one. And maybe move a little bit of these stars. There you go, and yeah, I like it. Um, yeah, the colors that I chose for Minecraft Angel is pink and probably white. Yeah, so this one, this is perfect. Go, I we are gonna do the banner. I just usually go to resize, but there is a crown beside it, so it means it's only for Canva Pro. So I really recommend to get the Canva Pro because it's very convenient in things like these. 
but you can totally do this in the free version as well. So the size is 3360 by 840 pixels. Copy and resize. And here you go. So exactly the same one as our uh, logo, but I'm going to put my own flair into it. So I'm going to put a little bit of touch of my cup. Just a little bit of cup here and there. And probably I'm going to add a little bit more of these. You know what? It's easier if I lock this instead and make everything else bigger. So I am perfectly satisfied with what I have. I got the logo and I got the banner. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to share it, download. As a PNG file is good, so download that one. And the other one as well. Now I'm going to my Etsy shop logo and the banner so here is my Etsy shop and it's on Halloween right now but I will just for the sake of this video I'm just gonna place it to the ones that we just did so go to edit shop and go click the pencil here on the side and oh, maybe delete that one first and then add an image uh, where did it go I think it's in downloads so here is my banner There you go, and then save, and then click the picture sign, and then choose a file, then Minecraft Angel, save, looks good. So there you have it. So uh, the banner and the logo incorporates together. So that is the kind of message that I wanted to portray to my customers. And view shop. So this is going how it looks like. Um, you can always edit the announcement side as well to make it your own. If you have releases, you can mention it here. Um, mention the ones what you offer. I always try to put the delayed shipments and lost packages here because those are the usual issues that I get um, with, you know, issues that you don't have control over. So you just have to remind your customers as well that these are beyond your control. But you are going to be there for them, like, you know, with professional and exceptional customer service that you have to offer to them. And this is pretty much my shop. So there is a different return policy for different type of listings. So that one was beginning this October 31st review policies. So yeah. So my policy with my shop because it's custom made and it's made to order. So no returns or exchanges. But you can always change it by clicking on that edit uh, button if you want to accept return X exchanges. But usually with handmade items and custom as well, we, I don't usually do returns and exchanges. So there you have it. So that's how you put your brand onto your Etsy shop. Now that we have a logo, a banner, our policy, our announcements, everything correlates with each other. To be more consistent with your branding, you can also use packaging tape, stickers, thank you cards with the same colors and with the same message that you portray to your customer. It's really important on how 
or what feeling that your customers would feel when they think about your brand. People forget names, but they won't forget the feeling that they had when you are servicing them. I hope you will be able to use all the information that I've shared with you today. And if you love my video, please like, share, and subscribe to support my channel. See you the next time!